Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, if you guys have been following along from start to finish, I went over menus, or at least vaguely. I went over basic modeling, like something stupid, something simple. And then on the next one, I kind of showed you how to tweak stuff a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, a couple of you are just like, oh, why you no show us good stuff? We're about to get into some interesting stuff. This is organic. So for organic, just like always, we're going to start off with a, uh, a cube. Alright. And we're going to pop this thing up real quick. So we're going to be using the extrude tool a lot for this one. Um, then again, I guess I always use the extrude tool a lot. So let's, um, let's show this up just a bit. And we're going to pop this up. Move it this way and shrink it and we're going to kind of keep this idea throughout and we're going to literally just kind of follow around on this you see and every time we move it we're going to try and shrink it at least a little bit in one form or another. And we're going to do this one more time. And boom. Okay. So we're going to add this point right back in. So now we got this interesting little spiral and it looks kind of wonky, kind of janky. That's fine. That's actually exactly what we need. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit object and we're going to smooth this. Okay, this is already starting to look more interesting, right? So now we're going to grab a few faces down here. I'm just going to kind of select at random. Um, this is generally how I like to do it personally. And we're going to literally grab this and yoink. Now some of these are going to look awful, but we're going to, we're going to fix that. We're going to grab these sections and we're just going to trim them. All right. And once again, like before, we're going to try and keep above, for the most part, this mesh. And following the same ideas, you know, the, uh, the trunk. We're going to try and shrink the more we get away from, uh, the more we get away from this base. We're actually going to save that one. And same story as before. And we're just going to leave those go like that. But if you notice, I skipped over this one earlier, right? We're going to literally pull this one out and just kind of go. Right? And we've already got something really solid going, right? And follow suit. Feel free once again to kind of, you know, tweak these as you see fit. But using the same principle as what we just did, we're going to there we go. We're just going to grab some random stuff here. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. Let's 
turn that back down. Now what we can do is we can actually go to these independently from here, right? And just kind of tweak these. There we go. And we're just, once again, going to go through and select this stuff, right? I don't know when the hell I selected that. Anyways, just hit Q and go in and kind of select what we want here. There we go. Maybe we don't want that far out. So. Well, once again, you know, we're just kind of taking each one of these and working them. And keep in mind, this is a this is an awkward labor of love, you know. This is something that you can't just openly do and it's meant to have good results. Take your time, have some fun with it, play around with it. Now we're probably going to smooth this out one more time and start playing with stuff from there, right? But don't be afraid to, you know, mess with this stuff. I mean, this all doesn't have to be spot on perfect, as I said before. And since this is organic, it shouldn't be perfect. Like, look at this. That looks so much better already. I mean, just shrinking that up and then moving stuff around. It adds so much more life to this, uh, this... Well, I guess dead tree. And oh yeah. Oh. I mean look at that. That you know, by itself right now this is already looking really good. But here's another thing, try not to crowd space. You know, don't be afraid to move stuff around. I mean, this is the way life really is. It, it's wiggly, it's wobbly, it's strange, it's pretentious. You know? This is, this is life. This is literally life. Life sucks. But, you know, that's life. <laughs> And there we go. Get a couple of really weird ones in there. Now a couple of you are going, well what about the branches on the branch? Well that's why we're going to smooth this again. Check this out. So we're going to grab object mode again. And we're going to split this up again. And it's the same process as what we were just doing. Grabbing these little sections and just yoinking all over again. Once again, don't be afraid to just kind of play around with these. And go back and forth between, you know, pressing your 3 and pressing your, uh, your 1. So you can get really nice stuff going. See, look at that. that. That's so much better. Also, don't be afraid to grab verts on the ends of these branches and just yoink these things. You can see, now we got more of a pointy branch. 
And look at that. I mean, I, I really don't need to do much more to this to make it look tree-like. I can. As a matter of fact, I can even, say, have a couple of these branches broken. Like, boom. You know? That's actually... Oh, that's an issue. There. Get that really in there. Notice we're having a bit of uh, weird shit happening here. Uh, if we get three, we're getting there. But once again, it, if you want to do something organic, sometimes it's really this simple. And this works for bushes and stuff like this also. But there's actually a um, a tool in my the um, uh, there, let me rephrase this. There's a paint effect. That's you do trees a little bit easier than this. Um, but this is if you want to make your own, you know. And if we really, if you really want to add like certain edges that are just gonna work a lot better, boom, you know that works a lot better right off the bat. Anyways, there you go. Um, a basic organic model. We smoothed it twice. Very simple, very easy, very easy to follow. And once again, this is simple. This isn't hard. This isn't tedious. Well, maybe a bit tedious. But essentially, play around with this, you know? And once again, don't be afraid to kind of express your own ideas on this. Do it your own way. Have fun with it. Also, boom, look at that. Add some more depth to this tree so that those arms aren't so, uh, flat. Yeah. Yee. Boom. Now we're getting some more interesting, uh, work coming out of these. And you can even see, like, where certain edge loops are working and certain ones are, like, weird. Let's see, we'll take this and we'll play around with this a bit more. There we go. No one thinks to be too straight. It's a tree, right? Trees are generally like their limbs grow pretty straight, but they're not perfectly straight, right? They've got some curve to them. I mean, hell, look at our trunk. Our trunk's got of curve. Look, look at that. It, it, it's got, it's literally a dang near corkscrew of like hatred. <laughs> Anyways, so there you guys go. Um, once again, basic, simple, easy. Um, we can easily go in here and keep doing this all day long. Honestly, I'm not against that idea. Just out and have some fun with it. Not only that, but like I said before, labor of love. You need to spend some time with this. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, let's um let's split this a bit. There we go. And I'm mostly just going at this point just so that we can get a better example of what we're trying to do here. There we go. There we go. So, there's a couple of examples of what you can do. Different ways to play with and stuff like that. 
And this is without leaves. If we're gonna do leaves, that's a whole other project, and that'll make this a hell of a lot more complex. But for now, we'll leave it at this. This is a simple idea of basic organic modeling. The key thing is, is one, learning how to extrude, two, learning your edge loops, like where certain edges are and where certain ones aren't. Like, here's a good example. We can shrink this up and get away with it, but we still want that to be as thick as possible. So we're going to insert an edge loop right here. There we go. Boom. Look at that. So much better. Yeah. Anyways. So, there's just, you know, a couple options. Feel free to kind of do your own thing, and once again, like always, have fun. Art isn't nice unless you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself. Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, oops, I meant to zoom out on all this. There's our tree. It's kind of janky, kind of ugly, kind of nasty. But if we want to, we can easily boom, rotate, duplicate, squish this a bit. And we could actually probably even move this around a bit more and like move certain pieces of topology. But um essentially you've got the basis for your entire forest right here. That's uh let's actually grab some faces. Here's another trick. Before we go, I'm gonna show you guys one last major trick. Here's the soft select tool. You wanna to get into our tool menu for this. Clicking this causes this to light up a yellow and black. The higher this value, the more geometry it's going to affect as we move this. See? With it off, it's only going to move that section. So you can actually move entire sections of this tree all at once and just completely deform the hell out of this. So yeah, there's um there's a couple of tips, a couple of tricks, and the basics of organic modeling. Don't be afraid to do whatever. And uh, if you like this uh, video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment for future projects. And I'm hoping you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll get into the basics of characters, which I know a couple of you have been itching for. After we do the basic character stuff, I will be taking requests, and we'll go in from there. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay well.